Kyrie Irving is known for saying some off-the-wall things. While he humors his fans with nicknames, some individuals find his actions a little weird. Uncle Drew and Flat Earth jokes have been a big part of Kyrie Irving's legacy in the NBA. In today's video, we will reveal his weirdest moments of his career. Sports fans in Beantown aren't fond of Kyrie Irving's first postseason appearance with the Boston Celtics. The Celtics' exit from the playoffs was tainted by more than just the fact that they lost in the second round, even before the final buzzer surrounded in Game 4. Kyrie Irving already stormed off the court. He missed 15 of his 22 shots and thought he should have taken even more. I'm that great of a shooter, Irving told reporters. It was this moment where fans were shocked at what they were hearing. What happened to the guard they loved? Who was the player turning into? Why, Kyrie, why? On the eve of his return to the TD Garden, cameras caught Kyrie Irving performing a Native American purification ritual involving burning sage to rid a room of any bad energy. It just comes from a lot of Native tribes, Kyrie explained to reporters after the game. Just cleanse the energy. Want to make sure that we're all balanced. Even though Kevin Durant said it was just a Kyrie thing, that's arguably the best explanation for why it's so significant. Before playing NBA 2K at home, his superstar teammate cleans up his room. This might not be too off the wall, but to bring it to an arena and publicly share it was something the sports world has never seen. Except in the movie Major League when Pedro Serrano does his voodoo. Kyrie Irving says he apologized to LeBron James after the 2018-19 season ended with a loss to the Orlando Magic. I wanted to be the guy that led us to a championship. I wanted to be the leader. I wanted to be all that. Irving admitted he should have kept it in-house when criticizing his younger teammates after the loss to the Magic. Many fans got behind Kyrie with this statement, but others thought that Kyrie was being selfish and not a team player. I mean, you have to love his will to win, right? NBA players were personally impacted by COVID-19 and social injustice this summer. However, despite all of this, basketball was back in the game. Adrian Wojnarowski referred to Kyrie Irving as the disruptor when he described his homecoming. About 80 NBA and WNBA players participated in a conference call hosted by Irving, vice president of the National Basketball Players Association. With the existing health hazards and social turmoil, players were able to voice their concerns during this call. In reports, Irving was against returning, but was willing to do so if the majority wanted him to. According to those reports, according to Irving, who believes the health risk was overestimated, resumption of the NBA season would merely serve as a diversion from the fight against racism. The NBA's play was halted for a while during the bubble because of social injustice. But Irving's attitude was not universally popular. A month after Irving made the same complaint, the league decided to take a break. Fans were confused as to why Irving would bring this attention upon him. Players do have the platform to better the community, but this is not the attention you want as a player. Come on, Kyrie. As far as quotations are concerned, Irving is a one-stop shop. There were plenty of quotes to be had from his preseason relationship with the media. Irving raised a few eyebrows when he said his play would speak for itself this season and appeared to be boycotting the media in order to make that point. Even though he may have thought this plan was smart, the league didn't share his opinion and decided that his boycott of league media responsibilities was in breach of those obligations. Kyrie Irving and the Brooklyn organization were fined $25,000 apiece for the violation. Irving then took to Instagram to tell the world that he does not talk to pawns. Shots were fired at both the league office who administered the fine and basketball reporters. Considering the last Kyrie Irving memory we visited, where Wanorowski reported that Irving has forged a reputation as a disruptor within his career by often going against the league's establishment, there is some validity in Irving's beef with the media. Players will always be stuck between a rock and a hard place because they are obligated to speak to the media. If they want to keep a solid reputation, it's best to keep their personal ideals and opinions to themselves, as unfair as it sounds. Kyrie Irving isn't a pawn, and he doesn't hang out in places he's unhappy at. Believe Land is all too familiar with this. Irving reportedly promised to have minor knee surgery midway through the 2017-18 season in order to get out of Cleveland during the 2017 summer. Aside from the possibility of missing the entire season, he had threatened to miss the start of training camp and then have the surgery. As a result of his dissatisfaction with playing with LeBron James, Irving asked for a trade. Kyrie just went about this the wrong way. You have to wonder if he had any mentor or guidance with these types of decisions being made. 
the off-the-grid drama of Kyrie Irving is still unfolding and is the most current moment on our list. The siege of the Capitol on January 6th was the catalyst for everything that followed. Some sources stated that Irving had opted to sit out of the light of what was going on. Yet another set of data, Irving hasn't spoken anything about it. Steve Nash, Irving's coach, claimed he had no idea why the forward wasn't on the court. Kyrie is currently off the grid, according to Jason Dumars, so it's uncertain when he'll return to the Nets. Things became a little more complicated when videos of Irving at a large family reunion appeared on social media. Irving may be hit with a hefty fine if the footage proves he violated the league's COVID-19 policy and was forced to miss the games. Irving missed his fourth straight game during that time. The pandemic messed with a lot of people's mental health. You have to wonder if Kyrie was affected by this. It just seemed so out of character from when he first entered the NBA. On the debut episode of Durant's podcast, The X. Irving made what many consider a backhanded diss at his former teammate LeBron James. One thing I've always been comfortable with, I felt like I was the best option on every team I played for down the stretch, Irving said according to ESPN. This is the first time in my career I've looked down and been like, that crazy guy can make that shot too, and he'll probably do it a lot easier. He continued, it's not so much deferring because in past situations where I didn't take the last shot, I felt guilty. I want this game-winning shot, but also you want to trust your teammates. Not that I didn't trust my teammates, but I felt like I was the best option. Fans quickly pointed out that Irving didn't recognize James as a similarly clutch leader, given that James won the final MVP with Irving. While Kyrie Irving has made a decent number of game-changing shots over his NBA career, including the shot that won the 2016 Finals, James has produced far more game-changing plays than Irving has. Irving attempted to clear the matter on social media after his original comments, but few were buying it. You do have to admit that Kyrie is responsible for the Cavaliers championship in 2016 when he hit the clutch three-pointer over Steph Curry in Game 7. LeBron has to thank him for that shot because it's a huge part of LeBron's legacy that is often overlooked. Following the Celtics' 105-103 loss to the Orlando Magic during their 2018-19 campaign, Irving had a message for his young supporting cast. The young guys don't know what it takes to be a championship-level team, Irving told Keith Smith of Real GM. What it takes every day, and if they think it's hard now, what do they think it will be like when we're trying to get to the finals? Irving was referring to a young supporting group that had just experienced success in the 2018 playoffs, falling just short of a trip to the finals. According to Irving, new stars like Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Terry Rozier, and Marcus Smart's unexpected success is hurting their play. I mean, we had nothing to lose last year, Irving said via the Boston Herald. We had nothing to lose, and everyone could play free and do whatever they wanted, and nobody had any expectations. We were supposed to be at a certain point, we surpassed that. We come into this season expectations and it's real. Everyone from the coaching staff to the players, it's very much real every single day. So that's new, it's tough, it's hard you know, so I think what we're facing now is nothing compared to being on that stage trying to get a gold trophy. That Boston team went on to underachieve and the narrative of Kyrie Irving being a lackluster leader blossomed. Irving definitely should have kept that in the locker room. Great leaders don't tear apart their team. They build them up and inspire them to be better players. I mean, what the heck, Kyrie? The storied Flat Earth saga began when Kyrie Irving appealed on the road trip and podcast with his then Cleveland Cavaliers teammates Richard Jefferson and Channing Frye. During the podcast, Irving said, The Earth is flat. I'm telling you, it's right in front of our faces. They lie to us. Nearly a year later, Irving elaborated on his theory in an interview with UConn's women's basketball coach, Gino Ariamun. Irving said the following on the subject, The whole intent behind it, coach, wasn't to bash science. It wasn't to, like, having the intent of starting a rage and being seen as this insane individual. When I started seeing comments and things about universal truths that I had known, like, I had questions. When I started actually doing research on my own and figuring out that there is no real picture of Earth, not one real picture of Earth, and we haven't been back to the moon since 1961 or 69. It became like a conspiracy too. Again, some things are best left unsaid, Kyrie. Just shaking our heads. So which moments did you think were the weirdest ones of Kyrie Irving? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.